Dry Dry Sir Cuties Wendy here. Today we're going to draw a rainbow fruit smoothie. So let's get started. To draw this super healthy drink, let's first start by drawing the rim on our glass. So I'm going to come right here and I'm just going to draw a curve and I'm going to bring it across. So it's just a soft curve, nice and wide. About right here's our center and then I'm going to go right back up just like the other side and curve right back in. So as if we're drawing an oval, but just the bottom part. Then from there, I'm going to thicken this. Let's come out right here and thicken it up. And once again, we're just going to follow our top. Oops. And nice and soft and round. There. So we have that rim right there. And then we're going to start to draw the uh, size of our glass. So I'm going to come in, just come in a little bit, about right here and here. So let's work on this side first. So I'll just figure out the angle of this side first. And I'll just bring this glass down to a little bit more. It's up to you how tall you want your glass to be. So about right there. And to draw this side, you can go, uh, you can just try your best to angle it, um, to follow this angle. But a little tip I wanted to show you now that I know I'm going to end right here. I'm just going to drag this point straight up. So let's say about right here. So it's about this wide. So let's say about the same thing, this wide, about right there, just approximate. And I'm just going to drag a straight line point down to the same area, about right there. And just gonna give myself a point. And so this, now I know where to go with this angle. It's not 100% perfect, but it just helps. <laughs> this side's wobblier. This is harder on my hand to draw this way. Okay, there, there's my wobbly angle. And then from there, I'm just going to round this part off and connect at the bottom of a curve. So it's much easier if you draw smaller. <laughs> okay, so then from there, I'm going to, let's see here. I'm gonna come about right here and I'm just going to follow my outside. So this is a glass, so that's why I'm drawing this. I'm gonna bring it down so it makes it look like the drink is in a glass. I'm gonna give it this little edge. Oh my gosh, it's so wobbly on this side. Okay, definitely need to do a lot of fixing in the computer. And then right here, I'm just gonna make the bottom a little bit thicker and connect. There. Okay, so then now I can put whatever I want in here and let's, but let's spruce up the top first, okay? So we know that this is a fruit smoothie. So I'm gonna come right here, nice and nice. I'm just gonna start go up. And we just want to make this mound that comes back down. But before I, if you're using a pencil, just go up and then come down. But I don't want to erase, so I'll stop about right here. And I'll just say about right here. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a strawberry. It's just a very simple strawberry. This is the leafy part at the top. You can draw a little angle and connect. Then I'll bring down the body of my strawberry there. And I'm kind of angling it because I just kind of want to put some as if it's in the smoothie. So I'll just draw a little curve right underneath it. So now it looks like it's tucked in there. Whatever space I have left. And I'm going to bring up this mound. Just imagine this coming up. Wobble a little bit towards the center. Give it a little peek. And then we're going to come down. about right here and I'm going to stop once again I'm going to put a piece of pineapple in here for the yellows wobble my top angle it once again and right here I'm just going to draw a little angle to thicken up my piece of pineapple and once again I'm just going to tuck my pineapple in and just lightly draw some lines in there so hopefully that looks like a piece of pineapple and once again I'm just going to continue to wobble into my um, the rim of the glass. So I have this little peak right here 
And let's add some blueberry. So maybe here, add a little circle, half circle. Once again, tuck it in. Just gonna add like a little W in there. Maybe another one here. Just space it out and you can add whatever fruit you want, of course. You can add some raspberries, blackberries, but I'm just gonna simplify mine today and just put in some blueberries here and there. There. And let's see, and then we add for green, maybe you can add, since I have some space here, I'm just gonna kind of draw like this half circle for our kiwi. Just gonna continue this. Add some seeds in here. And once we color, we'll know it's a kiwi. And then let's add a straw. So right in the space that I have. I'm going to add a straw. And let's give our straw some stripes. Add some color to it. And, oh, and our strawberry needs some seeds as well. So just draw in some little, smaller. Wherever I have space. There. So hopefully that looks like a mound of smoothie for now. And then let's bring this to life. So if you just wanted to make this a regular smoothie, you can um, separate the colors however you like at angles or straight across, it's all up to you. But I'm gonna come right here and button this space and I'm going to put in some draw so cute eyes. So big circle to make it my draw so cute smoothie, right? Fruit rainbow smoothie, so about right here, and to make it extra cute. There are two big circles. It's a little bit bigger. Okay, so then let's make them draw so cute eyes. I'm gonna come in here, two smaller circles for highlights, and a curved line at the bottom, shade in the top. And lines at the bottom, and same thing over here. Okay, so now these eyes in, let's come to the top of each eye and I'm just gonna draw a soft curve over each eye. And in between, let's give this big smile with a tongue sticking up because of course it's very yummy and you can even add cheeks if you want. But that is pretty much it, except I need to, um, where am I gonna put some, you know what? Let's just sprinkle some hearts here and there. Since I have some space and I need to put a heart to make it my draw so cute. Rainbow smoothie. So I really hope I helped you out today to draw this cute smoothie and that you found it fun and easy to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.